Welcome to this PureTech maintenance tip video. The hybrid G-Series system should be serviced regularly as a minimum every 12 months depending on your water quality or the volume of water you use. To start with, you'll need to turn off the water supply to the system and release the pressure by opening a downstream tap or by pressing one of the red pressure relief buttons as shown. The second step is to change the filter cartridges. Do this by unscrewing the filter housings turning from right to left using the spanner as shown. Remove and dispose of the old cartridges and then clean the bowls with PureTech housing sanitizer or detergent and warm water and then rinse thoroughly. Check the o-rings to ensure they are in good condition, replace if necessary and then apply a light coating of food grade silicon lubricant to them. Next remove the packaging from the new filter cartridges and insert into the housing bowls making sure the cartridges are properly seated over the spigot in the base of the bowls. Then re-screw the housings turning them from left to right making sure that the spigot in the housing heads are located centrally in the cartridges to make a good seal. Use the spanner to tighten the bowl until firm, be careful not to over tighten. Remember to record the cartridge model and install date. The next step is to replace the UV lamp. Turn off the power, unlock and open the cover to the unit and unplug the ballast power connector. Allow the unit to cool and then disconnect the lamp connector, detaching the earthing wire. Carefully lift the white cap from the aluminium nut and disconnect the lamp from the socket and then slowly remove the UV lamp from the chamber. Now we need to check the quartz sleeve to ensure it is clean. Unscrew and remove the aluminium nut on the top of the chamber. Place a bucket under the unit to catch any water that comes out. Then remove the aluminium nut from the bottom of the stainless steel chamber using your other hand to hold the bottom of the sleeve to stop it from falling when you unscrew the bottom nut. There is a spring in the bottom inside the sleeve, ensure you don't lose it in the process. Hold in the bottom of the quartz sleeve, remove the bottom o-ring and slide the quartz sleeve through and out the top of the chamber and remove the other o-ring from the sleeve. Ensure the o-rings are lubricated and if necessary, apply a light coating of food grade silicon lubricant or similar. Also, check o-rings for damage and replace if necessary. Clean the quartz sleeve with PureTech sleeve cleaner. If the glass will not come up clear or clean, you'll need to install a new replacement quartz sleeve. If you need to purchase a new sleeve, for now continue with the next steps and install the new sleeve once you have received it. Next reinstall the sleeve by placing an o-ring on the new or clean sleeve, leaving approximately one inch from the end. Slide the quartz sleeve into the top of the chamber and carefully slide down through the bottom opening of the chamber until the o-ring sits on top of the chamber as shown. Place the bottom o-ring on the quartz sleeve and screw the bottom aluminium nut onto the chamber. Gently tap the sleeve on the top to ensure that it is sitting firmly on the bottom aluminium nut. Drop the spring into the quartz sleeve and then screw the top aluminium nut back onto the chamber as shown. To install the new lamp, remove it from its packaging. Then connect the four pins on the end of the lamp to the socket in the white cap. Slowly insert the UV lamp into the top of the chamber. Connect the earthing wire to the chamber and plug in the ballast power connector and turn the power on. To reset the countdown timer, press and hold the silver button for 15 seconds until reset is shown on the screen and a single beep is heard. The display will show 365 days and the green on LED button will be lit. Close and lock the lid of the unit. Restore the water supply and check the unit for leaks. Turn on a downstream tap and let the water flow through the unit for two to three minutes to release any air and impurities from the system. Check the unit again after one hour for leaks. The system is now ready to go. If you have any further questions, please call our customer care team.